used to feel so devastated. At times I thought we'd never make it. But now we on our way to greatness. And all that it was took was patience. I, I, I used to feel so devastated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At times I thought we'd never make it. One day I will be sitting here and working with her. That's Ellen, right? Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres. Alright, I mean, you gotta say it if you want it. I'll put it in the universe. In the universe. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the universe, now back to my mic. <laughs> Your mic sound nice. My mic sound nice, check one. My mic sound nice, check. I set, I set myself. My mic sound nice, check one. My mic <laughs> sound nice, check two. I set myself up for that, right? Yeah, I know. You shouldn't have never started. Hey, um, so what's up? We back again for another week. Um, we miss Cookie and um, Romay. Right, that's what it is. Um, I have to say something first. What's up? Yeah, what you did last week was rather dope. Like what? Switching to the shirt. Oh, uh, that snap of the finger thing. Snap of the finger thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna try that this week. I got some tricks up my sleeve. I'm gonna try that this week. Okay. Which, and what you gonna switch into? I can't tell you. I'll let you see it. I mean, you let me know when you snap your finger and everything. I want to see it. I'm gonna snap my finger. I'm like, oh shit, she did it. All right, all right, we do it. You know, so I want to see it happen before this show's over. It might not come out like yours, but it's gonna, it's gonna come out. Let me try. We see what happens. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, man, a lot of stuff happened in the, in the news. Um, I hate when it feel like we rushing stuff, but we got to get through so much stuff. But we're gonna land on one thing in particular, and anything, right? Um, that I really wanna. There's gonna be something I'm gonna be interested in. You're always interested in stuff. So. Mm, sometimes I'll just go to another world. Well, maybe that world got the answer. So Maybe. Maybe. And they, um, well, first and foremost, do you date? What do you mean? Do you date? Do you go on dates? I haven't been on a date. Well, just so you know, there's studies that say that um, sex on the first date, it makes people closer. It makes it um, really Where did you get this from? Where did you get this I from? I seen it on the Where news. I seen what it on the news. What news did you see this on? I seen it on Channel 5 News. Fox 5 in the morning. Sukanya Krishna. I like her. I like Channel 7. Alright, but I'm just saying. She said, and the other girl, Lisa Dahmer. Oh, wait, won't, that, won't you be considered a whore or a thot? You might be, but nowadays, well, you nowadays know, guys marry the thoughts. Guess what? Chrissy said her and John Legend did it on the first date. Now look at that. That ain't, that ain't got to mean that's going to happen to me. <laughs> She's going to happen to me. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it happens. It happens. I don't know about that part. I've, I've you know what I'm saying? I've, uh... Because then... me, every day that I go, I'm supposed to have sex with the person. I don't like that part. Not every date. I'm just saying. If you go on... If I'm attracted to can It can't be every date. It's going to be that one date that you go on, to go on and you have sex with the person on the first date. It could be that longest lasting relationship that ends up being like marriage or whatever the hell or whatever you know what I'm saying could you do that I've done that on different occasions and I actually like the female that I was with oh that's nice I'll drink to that <laughs> you just want to show up your glass mm. hey, what are you drinking what's that I don't know some red wine okay Cabelli Cabelli oh. right, let me try this 
Hold up, did you just try to blow the whiff in my ear? <laughs> hey, hey, um, yo, but um, I don't know what happened with Jeff Bezos, the uh, the founder of Amazon and everything, but yo, divorce. You do you know how much you you know how much you're gonna get? 137 billion he's worth, and um, his wife. Jeez. There's no prenup. There's no prenup, so she about to eat. There was no prenup. Hit, hit you with the pre Jesus. Yeah, no pre Does she need a best friend? Yeah. You know what I'm Does she need a boyfriend? I'm not going to be her boyfriend. I'll be her best friend. And I'll be her boyfriend. Uh, we I'm, both can be with her. I'm kidding. Yo, listen. She, she's set. She's good. For the rest of her life. For the rest but of her life. If she get married, it's going to cut how off. Do you, how do you think that's going to affect Alexa? She going to talk shit. Alexa going to talk. Oh, Alexa's going to talk shit now. Oh, she's going to talk a lot of shit now. <laughs> Alexa's going to say, always remember to get a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be Alexa's, uh, that's going to be what she said. As soon as you come on, prenup. <laughs> Word up. Hey, prenup. Hey, did you, um, so, yo, did you see, did you see the, um, there's a fight with some, some dudes, one of the dudes, with some dudes, um, two guys fighting with the cops up in Washington Heights. Yeah, and then they, and they let the guys go free. Yeah. But the guys, he said that that's his that's his uh, mo. He like to start beefs with cops so that he can, you know. He um, said that. The kid, he was on like social media. So he actually said that and they let him go. Well, it ain't so much about they let him go because of, because the cops were fighting back with him. So that's why they let him go. Mm. But they found out that that's his mo. He, you know, his uh, hustle is to fight with cops and then you know have lawsuits pop off. He said he had four lawsuits. Well, guess what? Him. He just messed his own stuff up by saying that. He definitely did. But a lot, that's what people do. People mess themselves up by talking too much on social media and then, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and the media or whatever. You know what I'm mm. saying? On these different shows. People can't just shut up. Because there's always that, that option. And we're going to get to that in a minute. Mm. There's always that option of people think that they have to say something now because they have a platform or uh, a free outlet they thing, whether it be YouTube, whether it be, you know, uh, on a podcast or whatever like that, they think they got this outlet to just say whatever, but they don't understand. You have to be accountable for what you say. I.e., you know what I'm saying? You got guys like Toure, Charlemagne the God, um, and those guys who said things on the R. Kelly documentary, the Surviving R. Kelly, and now it's coming back to haunt them. Mm. Toure and anything, you know what I'm saying? Who's an accomplished journalist? I like that dude. I think he's he was dope for years. But now they come to find out that he had an issue with one of his co-workers where he was saying some sexually harassing comments to her. And now it's coming out. So it's like when that documentary was being put together, they really should have done their homework and found out, hey, do these people have any bones in their own closets instead of trying to expose bones in R. Kelly's closet. Mm, and the same thing with, Ke- with, um, with Charlamagne. Charlamagne got issues of his own and anything with, you know what I'm saying, that... Uh, that uh, rape case that he had from down in South Carolina, and anything. Oh, I, I ain't know nothing about that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you, you can pull it up on the on on the internet. It's all over the place. Um, so you know anybody, you know anybody can see it or whatever. So it's not like I'm you know exposing somebody or I'm trying to point the finger at somebody or whatever like that. It's just when you do something like that or you do a documentary, um, you kind of got to do your homework on the people who you know you're gonna use to make commentary. Or you do your like homework. That. I do my homework all the time. I mean, like, hell, if somebody was to talk to me about something, I hope they do their homework on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, oh, you're a, oh, you're an open book. I'm an open book. Oh, I know you are. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm an open book. You know what I'm saying? I'm troubled. You know what I'm saying? I'm troubled and anything, and don't think for a minute. Yeah, listen, the things that I've done and anything, whatever like that, you know what I'm saying, it's been documented. Oh. The only reason I'm here is because my stuff is documented. That's the only reason why. How many pages? <laughs> hey, the, hey, first one? My, the first set of pages, 175 pages. <laughs> the second one? <laughs> the second one, uh, 125 pages. The third one? Another 135, 150 pages. I don't even know. I don't even want to go on to The next one, I'm going 500 pages. And they think I'm that going must hard. be a book. Yeah, it's a serious book. It's going to be hard, hard back. Hard cover. Mm. Yeah, man. Um, but, um, you know what I'm saying? Just people got to do their homework or whatever like that. You know what I mean? It's not so simple as just saying, like, hey, you know what? Um. Let's point the finger at somebody, whatever. Like, and 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 that's what I really want to get to. To be honest with you, um, when you start pointing the finger at people, whatever, like that, or you know, and, and listen, and I'm just going to be cut and dry. It's not about how about this. It is about the R. Kelly thing. You got to be a lot more original instead of trying to ride the wave of what's popular. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we ride the wave of what's popular, 
just to get clicks or just to get likes or just to get whatever, just to be, you know, liked by an audience of people and anything who we may or may not know. And it can condemn somebody and anything for something they, that may or may not have been done. And I'm not saying nothing about the archaeology. Like I said, I don't know the dude. I wasn't there and anything. But I'm just saying, just point blank, across the board in real life. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop trying to, you know what I'm saying, ride waves. We got to be like, yo, you know what? Everybody ride got their own waves. Waves. Ride on. <laughs> we we got to be more original and anything and what we say and then what we do. And we got to make our own lane. I'm just tired of the R. Kelly thing. Later, later for let's, okay, let's, let's move on to something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but alright, so let's get back. Let's keep going on anything. Let, let's stay with this whole originality thing. Okay. You know what I mean? We just gotta be original in our thoughts, original in our actions, and anything I'm saying. Like, everybody ain't gotta go and get the same surgery. Everybody ain't gotta see the same things. Everybody ain't so gotta. What, to say? what you mean by going to get the same surgery? So if you, you, well, you with your GoFundMe and your surgery thing. I ain't got no money yet. You don't have to go. But people gotta go to your GoFundMe. They gotta go down to the link. And anything in this episode, as I'm well as <laughs> what in this episode, as well as the last episode, and, and the before episode me. before that. Fact, if they go to your, if they go to your, um, your Instagram and anything, they'll see it. They yeah. See it. Go to at Miss Cookie Please. underscore the Entertainer, and and check out her GoFundMe. She got it posted up there, and they, yo, give her, give her head off. A and dollar. Me. A dollar. Two dollars. Try, trying to make ten, a dollar out of fifteen cents. One hundred and anything. Yeah. And, if you gonna do, if you gonna donate? Yeah. Well, then why you ain't donate yet? Then at least I would have had something. I'm, a, I'm gonna donate. Maybe people will follow. I'm gonna donate. See, you start this nope. week. We started up. I'm gonna hit you off. Can I? Am I supposed to donate too? Nah, nah, chill. Fall back. Okay, I'm gonna fall. Let away. that break come to you. Let that break come to you. Okay. So how long about. you think it's gonna take me to get my? I don't know. Money? I don't know how much you set it for. I mean, what's the time frame that you set it for? I ain't set it for a time frame. Well, you know what I need it done before the summer. There you go. Before the summer. Just say like Before by May. Summer. Yeah. If you can get it by May, then you got enough time to heal up and anything. By June on, and be on, on the beach. beach by it's like August. Oh, July. Yeah. Okay, July. You're going to need some more time to heal. Well, then I need to get it done in April, spring break. There you go. Let's try that then. Okay, look. I need this money by April. I'm not going to say I need this money. I would like to have this money by April to get this body right. See these lift up stomach. Stomach tucked in. So, what? I'm gonna be like, hey. If you get, uh, hey, you gonna need what? that. You, you might need that for that BMF building. Hey. So if you get on that and anything. We're not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna show you something. Don't even worry about that. I got you for that. Okay. It's All a right. surprise. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she trying to get on that, get in that movie, the BMF movie by 50 Cent. I'm gonna so. be on it. I'm claiming, declaring it, and it's gonna be mine. And I already know my part and my role. I'll let you see in a minute. Trust me. Hey, um. Cold outside. It's been cold as hell outside. That's that's what they call. Cup, cup is it? Oh, you gotta put echo on that. You gotta put echo on that. It's called cupping season. That's fucked up. I don't got nobody to cup with though. <laughs> don't worry. But hey, if you if you lose if you lose that, you're not gonna have nobody to cup with. Nobody don't wanna cup with you if you're skinny. I didn't say I'm gonna be. Don't cup with skinny girls. I didn't say I was gonna be skinny. Only thing I want. Is my stomach tucked in mm -hmm. and my titties lift up? That's all I need. But just so you know, people don't cut the skinny girls. I'm just letting you know that. I'm still not skinny. All it's right. just that I all just right. certain air. I don't want a fufa no more. A fufa. A fufa. A fufa. What is it? A fufa. Fufa. I don't know. Fufa. Fufa. Hey, what the hell is that? Hey, comment. That's the extra. Say a comment. <laughs> Put it in the comment section. What is that? Fufa. Fu spell it too, because I don't know how to spell that either. F u f u. F-U-F-U-F-U-F-U-F-A. Yeah. Foo, 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 foo. Foo, F-U-F-A. I don't know. Foo, I need to stop hey. saying things don't know the word or I mean, how you spell it, right? You gotta stop I'm, I'm going to work on that. Yeah, for 2019. I ain't working on shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo. 50 Cent working on Dame Dash, though, right now. I'm going to drink my wine on that one. <laughs> 50, 50. That's your. That might be your boss one day. You don't want to talk bad about fifty. Never will I talk about. You wouldn't. That's gonna be my boss. <laughs> so, yo, fifty going on the team. He said that team is a sucker and anything for bringing up Jay's name in an interview with um with uh Nick Cannon. And Nick Cannon or Nick uh, Cannon's class. So uh. Wait, why he got a class of what? Uh, that's just the name of his podcast oh. and anything. So he's like, Yo, oh, that's the new wave now. Everybody doing a podcast. Everybody, no, listen, everybody doing a podcast and anything. I hate. Be honest with you, I hate 
I hate that celebrities do podcasts. I hate that. Why? Because I feel like they kind of treading into a world that really was kind of, you know what I'm saying, um, built by people and they didn't want the celebrities who was kind of created their own lane so that they can kind of build themselves up. And then the celebrities got in it and it messed up the whole thing. You know what I mean? That's just what I think. So you think they messed it up? Nah, I mean, I was doing this podcast thing eight, nine years ago, ten years ago, and, then, and there was no celebrities in the game. Now all of a sudden you got celebrities in the game. So what happened when you did yours? You know what happened, Nate, you know what I'm saying? I stopped it. Oh yeah, I was on that dumb shit one time before. Nah, we was popping. I, I didn't say you wasn't, but I, it was a confrontation with me and one of your uh, peoples. <laughs> I wish you could have him here one day. Yeah, I can do that. I, yeah, but, you know, we, do that. We was popping, we was popping. Nate, listen. He was my crush, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I hope you. I hope you watching. And do, for listen, for real, for real though, we we're still radio, and they then it was pop, and they then we was internet. We was in calling podcasts back then. It was called internet radio. And they, uh, they, they, they was killing them, and they, they, then we had the other show on YouTube, and, they, they, and that was on Blog Talk Radio. But on the other show on YouTube, and anything, a black man's view, and they, they, now that was that was something. Oh, Look at that, way ahead of my time. Merge the two together, and look what I got now. Me. Disturbingly random. Nah, hopefully this is going to take off the right way. It will. You know, it will. You know what I'm saying? It's, just about, it's, it's all about you know, con- consistency, continuity, and ATM. You got to stick with something or whatever like that. You know what I mean? You got to see You got to see over the mountains and through the trees. You know what I mean? Once you start seeing, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, over the mountains, way up high. This motherfucker made her own music, made her own song. Because I got a mic now. Because you got a mic now. I have a voice that can be heard a, through the mic. You have a voice. Damn. Did you just did you just women's lip me just now? Yes. You said I have a voice. All right. Hey, man, you, do you FaceTime people a lot? No. no. You don't video chat with people? Well, I don't know nobody video chat with. I don't think my phone do You don't video that. chat me. You can WhatsApp and video chat me. I could? Yeah. Oh. Uh, mm. I'm going to start video chatting you in the middle of the day. I got a job. So what? I'm just going to video chat you. No, you can't do that. All right, but from you now on. You can do that after three. One, one, all right, so whenever we wanted to, whenever I want to show up to you about stuff about disturbingly random, we'll video chat you. That mean you got to see my face? Yeah. We're going to talk. <laughs> we, I might be driving. I can't talk. All right. You ain't got a stand for your phone in the car? No, I don't got a ground. First of all, I need a new phone. They say that's the new wave. All right, we're going to get to that. But they say that's the new wave now, and they think video chat. Yeah, but that's how that that's how that lady on a school bus got busted. What you mean? They was driving a school bus and the little girl recorded her FaceTime with somebody on her phone. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's why she's no longer can drive for kids no more. Yo, I got a problem with um with men bus drivers, school bus drivers. Why? I don't know. I think that men school bus drivers and everything are nasty. I think they got some. I always did. No, only, because no. I only knew only no. only knew two school, no. two men school bus drivers and everything who wasn't nothing. Look at the man that did for the um for the winter. How he, he all the kids that was on his bus, he bought them Christmas gifts. There's some nice ones out there. Yeah, I know two. I know two good school. You ever rode the school bus before? Yeah, not the short one either, the regular one. But I had two. I had, <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had two. Why you? Why you stressed? I know where he was going. <laughs> I knew he was going. Listen, I had two. Listen, I had two school bus drivers who was dope. One was mean. His name was Mr. Hunt. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Mr. Hunt. And they, you know what I'm saying? Back when I was in Long Island growing up. And they, they, I was going to Bayview Avenue um, School and they, they, elementary school. And Mr. Hunt was a school bus driver. And he used to tell us to sit down and stop that nasty talking. Because he was cursing or talking bad on the bus. And they, they'd pull over and stop and make you sit down. And they, they, he said, who was saying that? And well, whenever, he was a good person. He was. That's why I liked him. But he was mean. But, but he, whenever he... But it taught you something. Yeah, it did. Okay, then. Don't be talking nasty. Exactly. You know what I mean? Well, but, I don't know how you ain't learn nothing then. But whenever Mr. Hunt didn't come, we had Mr. Rita. And that was my guy. Mr. Rita, rest in peace, Mr. Rita. Yeah, they both died? Yeah, I'm old, man. You know what I mean? What you said, my bus driver's gotta be at least 25 years older than me. Hmm. You know what I mean? Come on. But, hmm. yo, Mr. Rita was dope, man. Mr. Rita would pull up, he put play music. He used to play Hot Night, I mean, um, 98.7 Kiss. Oh, and, back and, in the day? That's I guess I won't talk about R. Kelly. No, no, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that shit no more. <laughs> that shit. Yo, we got some dope mics. Oh, we got cheers to mics. We got mics. I need. I think I need to bling mine out. Oh shit! Here we go. Blinging the mics up now. Yeah. Yours looks stupid. 
Because it's all black. It's like there's nothing. How my mic looks stupid. It needs some, my mom needs like some rhinestones. But wait, so. how my mic looks stupid? <laughs> because it's just black. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's blah. How my mic looks crazy. Yeah, yeah, right name if you want it. Because mine ain't working. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. Hello? Oh. I got it. Your mic can't like this. <laughs> I'm done. You know I'm what? Hello? You. Mine work too. Yours is just stupid. It's just all black. It's dumb. It needs some bling to it. It needs something to it. Look at mine. It's so it's pretty, but I could just use some something to sparkle. Make it you know what this? Never mind. I ain't even go there with you. Don't do. Don't go there with me. Please don't go there with me. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Whoa! I just had to. I just sized it up real fast. Just realized. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm, I'm shutting my mic off now. Hey man. Hey. Uh. Thanks for uh joining me. Do you, you want to do something before you go? Put your mic down for a second. Just put, put the mic down because I'm done. Done what you do. Just lay that mic down. And anything. You got some tricks you want to do? I'll be right back. No, come back. Wait, wait. You got some tricks you want to do? Yeah. What the hell? What the hell? I told you. I told you. Meet Miss, meet Mrs. Grills from BMF. You see it. Cent, what's up? At Randy Huggins writes, what's up? At Miss Cookie, the in underscore the incident. That's what's up. So hold up. So hold up. I teach you a trick and then all of a sudden you try to pull it on me? Yeah, because I just told you. 50 Cent got a new movie he about to do and I'm going to be in it. And, and I'm going to be Miss, Mrs. Grills. Yeah, they got that part, Mrs. Grills. I'm claiming and declaring I'm going to be that part. Now I'm, I'm working. I'm per. I'm going. To, I'm about to start some acting classes and get my craft right. But I already know how to act. Mm -hmm. It's just a, you know in case you know, you know how to act. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> you, you don't know how to act. I mean, you might know how to act, but you don't be know how to act when you're out in the streets. You be acting a fool. I'm such a fucking lady. Yeah, right? Don't tell me that. <laughs> but yeah, but <laughs> I'm claiming. I'm putting it out there. So. At 50 Cent and at Mr. What's his name in the back? Mr. Huggins writes. I want to see if you can read. Mr. Huggins writes, listen to me. This is Ms. Cookie underscore the entertainer. Look no further. You have your Mrs. Grills right here. Trust me. I promise you. I'm going to show you how to play that part. You talking about 50 years old? You want to make him want to look 50? But I got that part. That's what's up. This is my year, and I'm claiming and declaring it. Now back to you. That's what's up. All right. Hey, um, I, I'm gonna seal a show with that. That's about it. You go. I told you, don't watch me. Watch me on TV. And that's what we're gonna do. I might get an Oscar. You might better pull that off. Then maybe, then maybe I can be in Ice Cube movies. All that. Ooh, All that. Could you see me? Ah! I can see you. I can, I can see you. <laughs> this is my year. Yo, we out, man. Hey, um, another episode of uh, Disturbingly Random. Uh, thanks for watching. Anything, check us out on this thing right here, YouTube, Spotify, on Anchor. Um, we put all these links and anything right below. You'll see them. You get that share button, too. Right over there a little bit. And um, let, let all your friends know. And anything, all right, check us out. And anything, we'll be back. We'll do it again next week. Uh, we got some stuff um, we want to talk about next week as well. You got some stuff that you want us to talk about, hit us in the comments. All yes, right. do that. Because we got mics now. We fancy, huh? We fancy, huh? Nails, nails done, hair done, everything did. We fancy, huh? We fancy, huh? I'm not your nails. I'm not talking about you. Right. It's for me. Right. Nails done, hair done, everything, everything did. I'm fancy. Okay, can't lift my mic over my lips. Oh, I got mad at lipstick on. I ain't gonna work. I gotta give me some Fenty. So, hello. Hey, Rihanna. Oh, we out. <laughs> I'm like, yo. Meow. I used to feel so devastated. At times I thought we'd never make it. But now 